That's right, Mike. And of course, they raise a lot of money for that great charity. Well, these guys <laughs> playing for a lot of money tonight. Over 354000 to the winner. Right now, the non-pro at the table, Dickie Malone, our chip leader, with over $5 million in chips. Yep. He's 56 years old out of Georgia, and he's playing impressive yeah, poker here tonight. But right now, Sam Panzika in second chip position makes it 150 with a queen eight. Can he push everyone out of this hand? And Kush now with a queen four. Well, he has Georgia ties as well. He went to the University of Georgia. It's just the kind of hand that's just tough to play here, Vince, when you're short stacked. Handcuffed, as we call it. Even if you think your opponent's making a move, you just don't have enough chips to three bet and play like you might want to. That's the penalty of being short stacked, and Sam understands that perfectly right now, taking advantage of the situation. Yeah, Sam, what a player. Started playing in high school at little $5 games, has progressed, and at 24 years old, one of the top players in the world, four WPT caches, first WPT final table, and a big shot of winning here tonight. And we move on, Dickie with a quick fold, Tyler with a quick out. So the battle of the blinds here. What do you do now if you're in, Kush? Jack seven. You want to see a flop, but if you just limp in, the guy might raise you, and then you got to throw it away. But Ann Kush does make the call. And Sam is not going to punish him with a raise with a jack 10, so he's got position on him. We move on, and he hits a 10, so 10, 7, 6 on the flop. 10s for Sam, and 7s for Ann Kush. And Kush is bet out, 60,000. Well, you got a bet middle pair in this spot. And Sam, surprised he doesn't raise here. I am too. Just makes the call. Now a four comes off, so another possible straight the other direction. Oh, well, Ankush thinks the two sevens is good, so he's going to bet him here. 125,000. Now the question is, is Sam going to just call or raise? I don't think there's any chance he's going to throw it away, top pair. And he just calls. Oh, yeah, it does. He's in front, going to the river. But the eight of diamonds comes off. Oh, that's a dangerous card. Now, what's funny about this hand, Ankush bet on the flop and the turn, thinking he had the best hand. It almost looks like he's rethinking that right now. Well, and if that's the case, Will he make a bet here? Well, there's diamonds out there. There's straights all over the place. So Sam's hand is shrinking up. 450. Ankush sensing wow. that. Going to take a shot. Unbelievable bet here by Ankush. God. It's like the worst. Right from the duck. I'm telling you, folks, he bet for value on the flop and the turn. And now I believe he thinks he's beat and feels like the only way he can win the pot is to bet at it. And that's exactly the scenario. Yeah, but Sam hasn't folded. He could make this call. It would be an excellent call. Very tough to make, though. He can't beat anything but a bluff. But the problem was he didn't raise after the flop. He should have. He has to lay it down. Beautifully played by Ankush. Well, it sure was. It's amazing how well he figured that hand out and put his opponent on a 10. Yeah, that's the smile of a man that just bluffed. Well, there's a hand Sam's going to kick himself for later for not raising on the flop. Yeah, yeah. And taking control of the hand. Absolutely. As we move on, Dickie Malone still out in front with five million. Quick fold by Tyler Patterson. And Kush going out as well. So battle of the blinds here. Sam with seven four diamonds. Just limps in and no raise by the pair of deuces from Dickie. Yeah, Dickie shifts gears. He's playing very conservative at this point, and the flop is a jack nine six. Well, no help for either player. Again, it goes check, check. And now a four comes off. Now Sam has the best hand with two fours. And Vince, because his opponent didn't bet on the flop, didn't raise him pre-flop, you're not putting him on a pair. So he's going to bet the two fours for value here. Yeah, 65,000. Well, Dickie going to make the call. Yeah, he's stubborn. Well, it's not deuces wild. <laughs> and unfortunately for him, he needs a deuce to win the pot. Now an eight comes off, but makes a lot of straight possibilities, so... I doubt either player is going to be happy to see that card. And it's going to go check, check. And Sam turns up 
Two fours and you got a six. Oh. So you said he tabled a six. I tabled my hand. He tabled it. Yeah. Sam turned his hand face up. Lucky for him. I'm sorry. I said you got a six. Yeah, uh, I thought he said six. No, 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 no. no. Dickie was asking him if he had a six, but Sam thought he said I have a six, where he would lose the what pot. What angle you out there? I promise you that. Go ahead. I you already flipped the most. <laughs> but yeah. because he turned his cards face up, a 4.9 million. Sam Panzeca also with 4.2 million. Two big stacks, two little stacks. Yeah, short-handed poker. Different game, Ankush, an expert at it. All right, we have a couple folds. A round two, our non-professional player, our chip leader, Dickie Malone, with just a jack seven, just gonna call. Just limps in. Uh, Tyler will never stand for that. All in. And he does go all in. And Unless the guy's completely slow playing, you know your ace high is the best hand. So you just move in automatically like Tyler did and take down the pot. Well done. Tyler is 33 years old. He's the last bounty standing. For the second year in a row. Started out as a poker dealer. Meanwhile, the blinds are going up to 30 and 60,000 with a $10,000 ante. And it's actions on Sam. He's got King Jack. He moves it up to 125 to go. Well, Dickie Malone has two eights. I think with the chip lead, it's a great opportunity to three bet here with the two eights. Let's see what he does. Caps the cards and just calls. By just calling, you allow the blinds to come in the pot at a pretty cheap price. And you see Ankush is doing just that. That's why I think you need to three bet with the two eights in that spot, find out where you're at, shut out the blinds, mm -hmm. play from there in position. The flop comes up an ace jack five, so Sam hitting jacks there. Yeah, Sam now has the best hand, and Kush with the wheel draw, as you can see. He deduced for a straight, but he is checked. And Sam with the middle pair top kicker is going to bet 125,000. It looks like the two snowmen melted. Indeed, they did. Dickie Malone out. Now, what's Ankush going to do? Remember, he's short stacked. He does have a gut shot straight draw, backdoor flush draw. Or are you going to call with just a wheel draw here and four high? Well, no, you're not. You're going to raise 325,000. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're sitting in Sam's seat, you're saying, wow, this guy is raising me on a short stack. He must have something. But if you don't believe he's got an ace where he moved all in before the flop, then you call him here just like Sam did. Yeah. Beautifully evaluated by Sam. He makes this call. We're going to the turn. But look at this. This is going to help Ankush extremely with a six of diamonds. Now a four flush and straights. Well, Vance, maybe Ankush was going to give the pot up if he got called by that raise there. But now... All in. Mm. With a drawing hand like he's got, a semi-bluff bet as we call it, the open end straight and the flush draw, he just moves all in, and he takes it down. Once again, Ann Cushman Davia outplaying Sam Panzeca to win the pot. Ann Cush loving it, smiling to his rail. He is robbing these guys. Win is going to take home a whopping 354000 Yeah, Tyler Patterson trying to win this event two consecutive years, but right now he's sitting in fourth chip position, as you can see. The lone non-pro at the table, Dickie Malone, still our chip leader. Actions on Tyler. Well, I was a little surprised he wouldn't have shoved there with ace high with his chip stack, but opted to lay it down. Right behind him, and Cushman Davia with a pair of threes, though. Let's see if he gets aggressive with it. Nope. He just calls on the button. He wants to keep the pot small. If somebody raises, he's going to call and see a flop, but if he gets three bet, he commits a lot of money to the hand, so he limped in. Panzeca with just a 10 6 gets to stick around. Dickie Malone, who could well raise with his hand, ace four clubs, opposite see a free flop too. So three-way action. And the flop is seven, six, six. Great flop there for Sam. He's flopped three sixes and checks. Dickie has none of that, of course. He's checking as well. Well, Vince Hancock is going to bet here, I feel that he should bet here because they both check. They probably don't have pairs, so why not bet my two pair? 115, and that's a dream come true if you're Sam. You sit around there with 10-6, you flop three of a kind, and you got a guy betting into you. Life is good. Well, the question is, do you raise here or do you just call to slow play him? Oh, he's just going to rope the dope. Yeah, he's going to rope the dope, but once he gets called, Ankush is probably going to shut it down from here. 
Now a queen comes off. And Sam checks again. Now Ann Kush knows he could have a straighter or flush draw. And now the river the king of hearts. That neither player really happy to see. Fearful their opponent might have a flush, but Sam now gonna bet the three sixes here. It's like 190,000 is the bet. And now Ann Kush has to put the pieces of the puzzle together here. Let's see if he can figure this out. He's in a tough spot. You just don't think a guy would bet two pair in this spot. So he's either got at least three sixes or a flush. Or nothing. He's got a heck of a sweatshirt, though. Very flexible. <laughs> Keeps the neck and chin warm. Oh, boy. Right now, he just wants to pull it over his head and hide. Doesn't know what to do. 190. This would be what we call a hero call here if he makes it, but it's not going to work out for him. Oh! He knows all it can oh. beat is a straight draw, but he does make the call because it makes sense that Sam could have had a straight draw there. You know, well, the problem was that Ankush did not raise before the flop with the three. Got a guy to stick around with 10 6, and it backfired. Sam Panzika, he is looking good right now. Line still 30 and 60,000. Quick fold by Ankush. Well, Sam on the button now with the 9-7 offsuit, but everything's seemingly going his way right now, so why not raise it up here in this spot? Look, 10-6 worked out for him. Why not play 9-7? It's 125,000. Dickey goes out around to Tyler Patterson. Will he defend? Remember, he's the short stack in the tournament. Got under a million. He's only got about 900,000 left, so... Yeah, you know, he makes the call, so we're going to see a flop. Well, flop is queen, 10 deuce. Tyler with the best hand with second pair, checks it. Let's see if Sam makes a continuation bet. Looks like he has to with that hand, but he doesn't. He checks. Now a queen comes off. Now it is three diamonds. I'm a little surprised Tyler checked there. Me too. I would have bet that hand in that spot. You're not going to put your opponent on a queen or even a diamond draw. You're to bet the flop. Mm -hmm. And now Sam's reaching for chips. He's going to bet 110,000, but... I don't believe that Tyler's going to go anywhere here. You're just not going to put your opponent on a queen when you check the flop. And Tyler does make the call. So we are going to the river. And an ace comes off. So Tyler checks again. Now Sam knows the only way he can win this pot is to bet at it. Tyler hoping against hope if his man checks it. Possibly win, but what great players do when they don't have it, they try to take it away with nothing, and that's exactly what Sam's doing. Well, that's... I don't think you're going to put him on a queen. I don't think you're going to put no. him on diamonds. I don't think you're going to put him on king jack, because he would have bet the flop with the king jack as well. It's just a matter if he paired the ace or he didn't. Problem for Tyler, of course, he's, he's got about 800,000 left only, and 215... Well, let's see if Tyler can sort this out. He makes the call. He chips up pretty nicely. He knows if he calls and loses, he'll be down to virtually not many chips. He does throw it away. Wow. I think when Tyler looks at this hand, Vince, he's going to say, you know, I should have bet out on the turn myself. I should have taken control of the hand, and then I couldn't have got bluffed out of it. Well, with that pot, Sam Panzika is now the new chip leader. Four players remain. What a battle we're seeing at the table right on his heels with 4.6 million. Yeah, the winner's going to take home 354,000 tonight and also receive the beautiful U Blow watch. What a timepiece that is. Get their name inscribed on the Champions Cup here on the WPT. Let's go to the felt. The ante to 10,000. Blinds at 30 and 60. Action on Dickie Malone. He folds. Oh, yeah, Tyler Patterson, who took down this title last year. Going. He's going to push all in with the king high. He's going for it right here. And he'll take the pot down. Queen, queen, no slider. Tyler Patterson from Scottsdale, Arizona. Been a pro for 11 years. 33% to call. Has a World Series of Poker bracelet to his credit. Won this tournament a year ago. Going for his second WPT title in the same event 
Never been done before. Started out as a poker dealer, and now they deal to him. Made a lot of money in the game. Well, he falls in now, and Kush, Mondavia, with a very strong ace, queen, and the button. Well, he's gonna raise it. 130,000 to go. And Sam Panzeca could well three bet here and get himself in big trouble with the ace, jack, of spade. But he just calls Vince. Yeah. Does not re-raise here. That allows Dickie and the big blind to come in if he wants, but he opts not to. So as the cards lay, and Kush has him dominated. And the flop comes ace, three, four, all clubs. Wow, both hitting aces, and we have a kicker problem there for Sam. Well, Ankush also has the best draw. He's got the flush draw. So Ankush with the best hand and the best draw. Continues for 150. And Sam obviously going to at least call. He does call, does not raise here. Ankush looks back at his hand. Now, you'd think he looked back to see if he had a club in his hand, which he does. Now the board pairs threes. Well, again, Sam checks. And Amkush just does not want to be check raised in this situation, so he checks also. The nine of spade comes off. Will Sam bet now? Probably thinks he's got the best hand. I would think it with Ace Jack. He's going to check. And now Amkush has to think he has the best hand with Ace Queen. He knows Sam is going to re raise before the flop if he had Ace King. And there's a chance he could have a flush or a full house, but you have to think Ace Queen is good after they both checked on the turn. Yeah, well, Ann Kush is going to stick in a bet of 400,000. Yep. Get a little more value out of this hand. Well, Vince, I don't know how Sam's going to get away from this hand the way it was played. I think you're right. Well, because Ann Kush checked on the turn. There's the call. Ace Queen. God. Sam calls. The queen is going to play in this hand. Ace is up with a queen kicker, and Kush taking down that pot. Yep. And Kush Mandavia, 29 years old, lives in Houston, Texas. Very experienced, close to $3 million in lifetime poker earnings. It's a live tournament earnings. I'm sure he's made a lot more online as well, but his biggest cash was $787,000. Finished third in a big high roller to get that money, but he has done well in his young career. Well, he has folded this hand, and Sam with a drop an ace deuce of clubs, kind of surprising. Dickey with an awful 9 6. In the small blind. And he's going to call. He's going to open calls. himself up to get this pot taken away from him, and that's what's going to happen here. All in. And Tyler is going all in. You're just not going to put your opponent on an ace when they limp in the small blind. If they're trapping you, they just got you. But he's not trapping. Well, Tyler throws out the bounty. I think it's 770. That's an extra 2,500 in cash for any one of these guys at the table that can win it and knock Tyler out of this tournament. So the question is, does Dickie want to gamble here with a 9-6 offsuit? Going to cost him another 710,000 to do so. And I don't think you want to put your money in with a 9-6 here. You don't want to double up a Tyler Patterson with this garbage hand. There it is. So Tyler Patterson with the all-in bet taking it down. Brings back his bounty badge. Trying to collect it for the second year in a row. That's astonishing to me. I don't think people play against me differently because I won last year. You know, everyone was talking to me about it, and I got a lot of recognition. Let's hear it for our champion, Tyler Patterson. Tyler's a good He's tough, puts you in some interesting spots for sure. I think he's a good player from what I've experienced with him. Tyler Patterson, I watched him last year on television. I respect his play, but uh, if I have something I need to get in there with, we'll do it, you know, we'll play. Well, there you go. So Tyler Patterson, not only a really good player, Vince, one of the most well-liked guys out here on tour, and for good reason, he really is a super nice guy. Four players battling for the championship here at Best Bet Jacksonville. A great poker stop. And we move on now. Dickie Malone with his huge ace queen of spades. Well, he will definitely be playing this hand as the chip leader. 
Dickey owns a small construction business, used to be a firefighter, 56 years old, out of Macon, Georgia. And he's got everything going for him here tonight. He also got in this tournament on a $550 satellite, Vince. So what a parlay he's making wherever he finishes. And there's the raise, 155000 Oh, just the hand Tyler had been waiting for. A big duke where he can get all his chips in. Two kings, what a time to get him. All in. All in. And Kush with the tens behind him. Wow. And Kush picking up tens, three big hands here. He knows Tyler is going to have a wider range than two kings to move all in here. By far, we do it with two fives, two eights, ace nine, perhaps. All in. And then Kush is going all in as well. Kush all in. Well, sunglasses are coming off. And now we're back to Dickie Malone with the ace queen of spade. Now, Vince, you have to know Ann Kush, at least Ann Kush, has a very big hand here or he wouldn't get involved. He doesn't have to get involved. He would just let Tyler and Dickie fight it out if he had a marginal hand. So he must have a big hand here. Dickie should know that and also know that Tyler could perhaps have a big hand, which indeed he does. Yeah, I think this is very droppable. You don't need to get involved at this point. Now, Vince, he knows if he calls and loses this pot, he'll still have over two million in chips and still be in the race. But if he calls and wins the pot, he'll be the big chip leader playing heads up for the title. So do you want to gamble here? Vince, one of these players could easily have ace-king. I just don't oh, yeah. see how you'd want to play ace-queen in this spot. You wouldn't want to play it. It's just a matter if you want to gamble or not. There's another side of it that says maybe he just knows his best chance is to gamble against these kind of players. Yeah, because it's suited, it might influence him, Vince. Oh, oh boy, he's made he the call. He does make the call. Wow. Well, Tyler Patterson's not going to be happy to see it because he'd rather play the Kings against the two tens. But he's got the best hand, got a chance to triple up here and be well on the road to defend his title. If he gets outdrawn by either one of these guys, he's out. What a dramatic hand. It is up for grabs. Ah, a little kiss for Carolyn. She was good luck for him last year, been good luck so far this year. Let's see what happens here with the two kings of Tyler. Uh, can the firemen slide down the pole successfully? Dickie Malone saying, please give me an ace just once in my life. I won't ever ask for it again. <laughs> he could knock two players out, have All the right. big chip lead, playing heads up for the title. Where's an ace when you need one? Looks like a bunch of little ones. No, eight, four, deuce. Well, so right. far, so good for the two pros. I'll take a turn heart for, for the sweat. Yeah, uh, spade sweat. No, no, no. Heart Come on, heart. spade. Heart, heart spade sweat. Great. Spade. Going to the turn, Dickie Malone. Right, Wanted to turn. find that ace. He got it! Ace. Wow! Can you believe it? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. He made that Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. Man, I <laughs> it ain't it. over yet. There's still a little <laughs> Come on. I got it. Oh, I thought that was a river card. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, man. I thought it was a river card. <laughs> yeah. If the hand finishes this way, Tyler will All finish right, in fourth place because Ann Cush had him more chips when the pot started. There's the river. It's a five. Lady Luck shining again on Dickie Malone. That's going to do it for the defending champion, Tyler Patterson, and the tough pro, Ann Kush Mandavia. Tyler's going to take home 100,000, Ann Kush 152,000, respectively. I mean, I was sure going to put it Heartbreak for Tyler Patterson there, Vance. He triples up here. He's got a great shot to defend his title. Who knows what would have happened? But that's poker. Give Dickie Malone credit. He knew he had chips for his opponent, but I'm sure he's very happy to be where he's at right now. He's knocked out all four players at this final table. Can he get one more notch on his belt? All right, action on Sam. He's got a little 4-3, and he has called with it. And Dickie with an ace-4. But doesn't raise, Vince. Very yeah, surprised by that. That is surprising. Wow, ace-10-3. Aces for Malone. Checks again. 
Now Sam's got bottom pair and he's gonna bet. Hoping his opponent has no pair and will go away. But there's no way Dickie's throwing away two aces. Makes the call. And the jack comes off. So Dickie out in front with the ace high and the key card, the ace of diamonds, but checks. And Sam also checks. And now the board pairs jacks. Ace. That's good. It goes check, check. Dickie gonna win the pot with aces up. So he extends his chip lead. <laughs> Dickie Malone loving it. There's his wife. Joy and his daughter Taylor in the audience. They've got to be thrilled by this. From Macon, Georgia, 56 years old. He was a firefighter for around 20 years and now playing poker as a hobby, but leading right now with a heads up battle. This time he picks up a jack eight. Well, I'm just going to call on the button with it. Sam, I'm sure happy to play small ball with this guy. Just calls to look at a flop. Sam would rather play post-flop. And now the flop comes jack, 8-3. What a flop for Dickie. He's got top two pair. Sam with middle pair has checked. And Dickie slow playing the top two pair. Now a three comes off. Well, Vince, Sam is going to bet this, thinking two eights are the best hand for sure right now. Yep, Dickie Malone has set up his victim very well. He's going to get him to bet 90,000. Action on Dickey. See what he's going to do with top two pair now. This is Dickey Malone's first WPT cash. And of course, first final table. He'd like to trade in that watch he has on right now to a nice Ublo watch. I guarantee it. Well, he's going to raise it yep. to 225000 Now, Vince, if you're sitting in Sam's seat, you're saying, what is going on here? How could that three of spade possibly help this guy unless he's got a pair of threes in the hole? But the guy checked on the flop. He didn't raise before the flop. So it just doesn't pass the smell test. I don't blame Sam for calling. As we see, he's drawing completely dead here. But little does he know it. Now a king comes off. Now Sam is going to check. And you know Dickie is going to bet, just a matter of how much. I'll tell you something, he has a good poker face, though. Doesn't give too much away. Can't really tell by his expressions. Well, he's bet 325000 and this puts a lot of pressure on Sam. Sam is just figuring out what's going on. The guy didn't raise before the flop. He didn't bet on the flop. Now all of a sudden he raised me on the turn, he's going to bet the river. I mean, it looks like... The guy made three threes or has nothing. At least that's what I would think. Well, Sam is going to call him. Can't blame him for that, but Jackson 8s are going to take this pot down, so the heater continues for Dickie Malone. He extends his chip lead. Boy, what an upset in the making. The senior at the table giving some lessons to the junior. Very impressive. Hi, I'm here with Joy Malone and Taylor, and we are watching the final table. How excited are you to be here? Oh, it's beyond words. <laughs> words just can't describe how excited we are. We've got family at home, um, friends in all states rooting for Dickie. We're just so excited that he's come this far. Well, I know that he uh, is, plays this as a hobby. It's not his profession, but he does take it serious, right? He does call it his second job. Okay. <laughs> so he does play uh, at home. He plays in home games he and things like that. He does play right? at home right regular. Okay. <laughs> so he's gotten in a lot of practice, and I feel like all that practice is finally paying off. Is he nervous? I don't think so. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't look nervous to me. Yeah, he looks like a pro. He's eliminated all four players. I mean, that has to be exciting. You guys are sitting here watching. What do you think? It's crazy. I, honestly, I didn't think he'd make it this far, but I'm so proud he did. Yeah. Proud daughter. <laughs> all right. What are we gonna do with the money? Oh my goodness. <laughs> We've been talking about home renovations, so I'm hoping that's the next step. Well, that looks likely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. All right. Well, they can do a lot of renovating whether he comes in first or second, so good for him. Well, of course he's not nervous. The man was a former firefighter. You <laughs> ran into burning buildings. A uh, little card game's not going to make him nervous. Get a good point there. <laughs>
All right, back to the action. Well, Sam has raised it on the button with the highway patrol hand, the 10-4. Dickie with Jack-10 in the big blind. He's gonna call, and we're gonna see a flop here. Blinds are up to 40 and 80,000 with this hand. $10,000 ante. Oh, flop is 884. Great flop for Sammy. Now has the best hand with eights and fours. Dickey checks. Action on Sam. Wow, I cannot believe he checked this, Vince. How do you check this? With two over cards, you give your opponent a free card, and he hits it on the turn. He has jacks up and has the best hand right now. I am shocked. Sam checked that flop. I just can't believe it, Vince. At worst, your opponent's got two over cards. Why would you give him a free draw at it after you raise pre-flop and hit this flop? Which is almost a perfect flop for your hand. Well, Dickie out in front now. Bet's a hundred thousand with the jacks. Sam not liking this at all. You wouldn't think, but wow, he's gonna raise it. Two fifty to go. Total. Just gonna test the water, see if his opponent's making a move. If he makes the call here. You'll know he's got something, and there is the call. I have a Dickie in the back of his mind saying, this guy have an eight? Possible. Well, obviously, you think the guy slow played three eights, but now Dickie has a top two pair of jacks and tens. But still, you have to think your opponent's got three eights if he raised you on the turn. So I can't imagine you could lead out and bet in this situation. But I'm not Dickie Malone. He is going to lead out and bet here. Four hundred thousand. Sam trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together. He knows he raised him on the turn, the guy called, and now the guy's let out on the river. So, honestly, you have to think there's no way, even though you improved your hand to tens up, that it can be good. Your opponent has got at least jacks up, maybe three eights. He's going to lay it down. Vince, he's got nobody to blame but himself for losing that pot by not betting on the flop. How you raise a pre-flop with a 10-4 and hit that flop and don't bet is a mystery to me. The young poker pro gets burned by the fireman. Your best chance to win is to play big pots, get it over quick, because the longer you stretch it out, the better chance the better player has to win. Mm, well, the haymaker has 9.3 million. <laughs> He's way out in front. Blinds are 75, 150 with a $25,000 ante. Sam with a pair of tens. Well, you can only jab so much when you're short stack, but it's compared yeah. to the other guy. But this time, Sam has got a hand. Two tens. Dickie could well raise with a six suited, but opts to call. So we're going to have a flop here. Yep. A six versus a pair of tens. Well, flop comes 10 8 5 with two spades. The best hand possible for Sam. The top set. 30 miles, Flint to Saginaw. Dickie is checked. What a flop for Sam. He can't believe it. Hitting the three tens, putting out a bet of 250. Well, an easy getaway for Dickie here in my mind. Doesn't have any spades in his hand. Not so fast. He's going to make this call. A little surprised by that. And now an ace comes off. Wow, this could get Dickie in big trouble here. Vince is drawn completely dead. Doesn't matter what comes off next. Dickie Malone is going to lose this pot, and just a matter how much money he's going to lose along with it. Well, 375,000 is the bet. 375,000. Well, Vince, if you call with A6 on the flop and hit an ace, you're not going anywhere, no, that's no. for sure. That's for sure. It does make the call. River card. Well, jack of diamonds, so possible straight, possible flush out there now. Dickie checks his two aces, but Sam is not going to check three tens. He's only got about a million left. Owen. There you go. If he made a hand to beat this fence, good luck to him. I'll call. Well, Dickie has made the call with two aces. Not going to like it. Sam Panzeca doubles up with three tens. But fence, Dickie put in 1.4 million more than I believe he should have on that pot. I think it's an easy getaway on the flop. Yeah, but he he plays that way. He plays unorthodox. He sticks around. He really does. Little did he know what he was up against. Man, do you think the guy's going to bluff his last money off in this spot, playing heads up against you? No. I don't think so. But once you hit that ace, you start to think, this is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Overrate your hand. But 
And Sam needed that turnaround. He gets it right there. Now we move on. Dickie Malone this time with the king, queen of clubs. Well, certainly a beautiful hand playing heads up poker. Dickie going to raise it to 300,000. And Sam looks down at a very attractive ace jack of spades. When we saw him have this hand before earlier at this final table, it was raised up front. He didn't three bet it. He's not doing it here either. He makes the call. Two quality hands, and the flop is a jack. Five, three. Jack's there for Sam. Beautiful flop for Sam right there. He's going to check. Dickie with two clubs in his hand, probably going to make a continuation bet, which you can't blame him for. And indeed he is. 200,000. Now, Vince, I think if you're Sam, you have to check raise in this spot. In case your opponent's got ace four or king queen suited like he does have, you just don't want to give him a free card by calling here where you could get beat. He could even have two sixes, two sevens, where he could make three of a kind, but Sam, Sam does raise it here, 550. I like this raise. Dickie goes out. And Sam creeping up on the chip leader. Yeah, Sam has made close to 1.5 in lifetime tournament earnings. Says he's a big fan of the Detroit Tigers and the University of Michigan. Oh, boy. Well, I'm a Buckeye, so you know what that means. <laughs> Just to show you Sam wants to play small ball, he limps in on the button playing heads up with an ace high. So it shows you he wants to play post-flop as much as possible in this heads up battle, thinking he can outplay his opponent. Well, the flop is a king 10 7. Seven's for Sam. Well, he checks the bottom pair. Now a three comes off. Gives Dickie a pair of threes. Well, Vince, you might think two threes are good here after your opponent checks the flop. I'd probably bet here in this spot, too. 150. Well, Sam's going to make the call here. So that's got to concern Dickie somewhat. Now a four comes off. Well, Dickie checks. Now, I would think he would just check it down here with two sevens in case your opponent's got a pair of kings or a pair of tens. Well, he wants more. Must put him on a pair of threes. He's got the value bet in at 225,000. But Dickie lays down the two threes. Well, things start to turn the other way. The youngster coming back. And we're coming back for more on the World Poker Tour.